Welcome back, everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic Tuesday evening. Let's go ahead and talk about our local weather conditions, getting a look at our RV World Yuma Skycam. We're looking 4th Avenue at the moment. We've been noticing some winds popping in and out throughout the day in the Yuma area. We were certainly noticing some shake on the Skycam in the earlier shows. Clearly, that has since subsided, and we are now dealing with much calmer conditions. In addition to some of the very clear skies that we've been getting as well, taking a look now at our satellite and radar to show you kind of the lack of activity we've been tracking throughout the day as we get a closer look into the desert southwest. You can see that really not much of anything has been going on. A little bit of cloud cover in certain portions of the area, but overall, very dry second day to the work week. A look now at our future cast to show you where some moisture could be making its way across the country as we go throughout our day on Wednesday. And as you can see there, Yuma County just barely avoiding some of that forecasted green area hitting southern Arizona. Still a very small chance we could see some rain, about a 10% chance, but overall a little more likely we'll continue getting these clear conditions like we were getting today. A look now at our current wind speed. You can see we're dealing with overall calm conditions in the area at the moment. And as you get a look at our future winds, you can see those calm conditions are likely to remain with the exception of Ocotillo, which will be getting a little breezy over the next 24 hours. But even for that area, not too much activity going on. A look now at our air quality index presented to us by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. Always a great sight to see most of these cities at good air quality. Unfortunately, our apologies for Mexicali as we aren't receiving any reading for that area at the moment. A look now at our current temperatures for the valley. We begin with El Centro sitting at 89 degrees, Holtville at 81. And as we jump across the state and county line into Yuma County, also those temperatures dropping off Yuma at 85, the foothills at 83. Let's go ahead and get a look now at today's viewer weather photo. This coming to us from Patty Spencer, a great shot of a sky out in the foothills. And this is amazing because you get a real contrast with the cloud cover here. Some really heavy activity going on on the right side of your screen. More clear skies on the left, just showing a great set of contrast there. Patty, thank you so much for sending this in. If you have a photo that you'd like to share with us, all you have to do is take out your phone, same one you're using to take these very photos. Go ahead and put it on that camera app. Scan that code right there. That'll take you right to our homepage where you can upload some of your photos and hopefully we'll get them featured right here on the newscast. So look now at our seven day forecast for the Yuma area where again, we're expected to see some very dry, clear conditions for the next seven days or so. One thing you may want to look out for in the Yuma area, however, will be some winds popping up on Friday and Saturday. As you can see there in the forecast, gusty and breezy conditions to be expected. Winds of up to 20 miles per hour potentially on the way. So again, something you may want to factor in as you're beginning to get some of your weekend plans set up. And overall, just look at those temperatures as we not don't have any triple digits over the next week, at least for the Yuma area. But as we get a look at our seven day forecast for the Imperial Valley, you can see it's nearly more of the same. We won't be dealing with winds in the valley and triple digits to be expected over the next couple of days. But overall, as we begin to head deeper into the fall season, hopefully these temperatures begin to reflect it a little bit more. You can see those evening lows are getting very comfortable as we stay in that mid 70s range, even lower 70s come on Monday and Tuesday. So again, definitely a welcome sight there. But overall, as we again go deeper into the fall season, these temperatures starting to feel a little bit more comfortable.